<laughs> that was weird. Okay, let's get started. Today, we are back with some more Enshrouded. And there's a couple of things that we got to talk about. One is my sweet new weapon here. I was able to find, by farming that elixir well, a legendary version of the mace I was using. And a legendary version of the backup axe. So we have those now. That's pretty awesome. Uh, I also upgraded so we have the health leech and an extra level of health leech that we couldn't get on the old version so this mace is nasty it's amazing i love it. it was totally worth the farming time it's starting to turn dark let's see where's our door here that was super dramatic <laughs> um okay one thing we got to get out of the way is we're going to throw down a bed for the Huntress. We're just going to line them here for now. As I mentioned before, we will absolutely work on uh, making this better. You know, look better. But I don't think that's what we're going to do today. Um, oh man, these controls still get me. Okay. Also, I wanted to place this because we can make dried purple berries. So that's pretty amazing. Takes forever. Wow. Why are these so slow? Okay, I think we have extra purple berries somewhere. I also made two more magic chests. Um, just because we had too much going on. So that's... Yeah, we had to do that. Um... Yeah, I mean, that that's about it. <laughs> We're pretty much caught up. I farmed weapons, we made some more chests, and now everyone has beds, and we're happy. I thought it was getting dark, but... I don't know. We're gonna actually... I just discovered this, too. Check this out. Um, let's, uh... Assign this bed to her. Okay. And then we're going to disrespect the sanctity of her sleeping spot. And we're going to sleep in here. So now we got the rested bonus for 12 minutes. That's pretty great. And also when it turns dark, we can sleep in a bed. And it speeds the night up by like 65 times or something. So you can't really sleep through the night instantaneously. But it's pretty close to it, which is awesome. Okay. Now, I think today what I want to do is I want to search for the hidden tombs and see what that's all about. Depending how much time that takes, maybe we'll do something else, but let's see what that takes first. And uh, yeah, that's it. So let's see. Quests, search for hidden tombs. Let's uh, set to the active quest, show on map. And then... Um, Go ahead and make this our waypoint. It is already, because we set it active. So, oh, it's definitely starting to get dark. Well, anyway, I'm going to wait till morning, and then I'm going to head off, and we'll go check it out. So I'll meet you over there. See you in a bit. God, I love this view. This is so amazing. Uh, yeah. Can you imagine going to do that and realizing that you took the glider off for some reason, and it's not really there? That would suck. Ooh. Ooh. Can we actually fly all the way to the destination from there? That's amazing. Check it out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. We, like, didn't really ever need to cut. Oh, God. What was that noise? Gotcha. Okay. Is that just string laying on the ground? No. I can't pick it up. So I wonder what this is going to be about. Oh, there's spiders everywhere. Oh my god. Why? They poison. Oh, there's another one here. I really wish that there was a way that I could hold the torch and my weapon at the same time. More for the video, because lighting, you know. I'm sure that this is not easy to see. 
when I'm not holding the torch. Um, there we go. Okay. Oh, sweet. There's a uh, anvil here, so we can repair our items. That looks like a secret door. Yes, it is! That was amazing. Ooh, Shroud Survival Flask. Shroud Protection plus two minutes. And then some spells. That's nice. Now, we haven't really tinkered with the spells yet. But that's something I do want to do in the near future. Um, so that would be cool. There's torches out here so we can at least see. Ow. Okay, why don't we go ahead and eat some food? These critter parts. I wonder what we use that for. This is a pretty cool structure, honestly. Ooh, that was an ominous sound. And these walls are cool. All these bone walls. I think that we can make those. Not that I really want to, honestly, for our base, but... Alright, so... This is a big room. Is there anything cool hidden in here? Any more secret doors? Doesn't appear to be. They glow, it's so cool. Spiders? We're getting a lot of string from this though. So that's really cool. Now we have an easy way to farm string. Which is big. Oh, that one's still alive. Okay, so far, not that big of a threat, the spiders. Something tells me I might regret saying that. Yeah, look, we got 22 string right now. That's insane. Okay, I think we cleared this area pretty well. So let's see what we missed here. Locate the hidden tomb. Is there something here? No. Oh, here, obviously. <laughs> I forgot about this area. Alright, nothing going on crazy. What? What's this? Oh, so like this was literally just to unlock the uh, bone block? I mean, don't get me wrong, this is cool. I love this. Like I said, we got an awesome way now to farm string. Just, uh... Okay. That was the quest. <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. Alright. Let's head back. Hidden tomb entry. Yeah, we cleared that. We're good. Head back home, drop our stuff off, and decide what we're going to do next. So these are not the best organized chests in the world. But magic and potions go here. Um, materials go here. And then the materials that don't fit in there go in here. And then building stuff goes here. That's a lot of blocks, actually. 207. Hmm. Nice. Okay, one of you guys is yelling at me, I think. I think it was the hunter. Oh, good. We got some dried berries. Where are you, hunter? Huntress? Took you long enough. Let's get to work. I, you're really mean. <laughs> um, oh, exploding arrows. I don't know where to get lump of clay from. So, yeah. We are going to make those at some point, though. There's no doubt in my mind. 
But for now, what are we going to do next? So we did the tomb. The other thing we could work on is this flame sanctum. So the flame can be strengthened at the flame altar. You can pierce the shroud further. Construct more bases. I love it. Sparks and other materials are needed. Find sparks in flame sanctums and flame shrines. Set active. Show on map. We are headed right there. Okay. Um, can we fly there? Probably not, hey? Because if we look at our fly distance, it's... Ah, we could probably fly most of the way there. Let's give it a shot. Mostly because I just like jumping off the tower. Let's be honest. Partially because I think it's a good idea. Oh, is it on the other side of the mountain? Because that's going to be a problem. Um, let's just try it. We could always fast travel back if we need to. Kind of looks like there's a giant cave right there, too, going through the mountain. Ooh, what's this area? Yeah, this looks quite interesting. Probably come back and investigate that little village later. So right now we need to head that way. Can we actually get up this? Maybe. Okay, there's a path. That's promising. And a cave. Seems like we're at least on the right track. Okay, ooh. Scary. What's that? Hey. Let me get a good screenshot of you for the thumbnail. <laughs> okay, that was risky. Oh, can we not hurt him? Ow! Jerk. No ammo! I put my ammo away! Come down here, you coward! Okay, we're gonna just ride. Oh man, I really want to get him, though. Oh wait, I have a wand that will probably do nothing. Ah! Yeah, I really wish I would have remembered arrows. This will work. It's really slow. What is he? Ah! Oh no, main weapon. <laughs> God, I can't see anything when I put that torch away. Hey, he gives us a spark? Awesome. Was he guarding anything worthwhile? Doesn't look like it. And we're going to break these in the hopes of getting some metal scrap. that. Oh, we got a chest up here. With some spells in it. And we got uh, a light artifact somehow. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's just a visual glitch. I don't think that's really anything. Let's go! So dark so fast. Okay, sorry guys, gotta kill the wolf. Which means you can't see. What's this? Mm, not getting anything. 
Oh, luminous growth. Luminous growth. That looks cool. Some lava. That would probably hurt if we fall in that. Oh, and then shroud that way. So I'm guessing we want to go this way, right? I don't know. Okay, there's daylight here. And what's this? A flame shrine. Oh! So we just, like, stole the fire. <laughs> I mean, I guess no complaints. But, okay, so here's the thing, right? That's not where we were supposed to go. So we need to go this way. But I think that's enough now that we can actually improve our base and double the length and width. All right. So we got a village up here. So I think I think we're on the right path. Oh my god, I suck. Corn? Okay. I figured we'd get something from that. You get plant fiber from that. Oh, you can get corn cob if you don't smash it with a mace. Got it. So that's going to be something. We've got to be able to do farming at some point, right? That would make a lot of sense. Anything worthwhile in this house? I'm just going to look for chests and stuff. Uh, torch. There we go. Any chests. Because the last house that we found was a total waste of time. So I don't want to spend a bunch of time looking again. What about S? Some spells. Nice. Those will probably come in useful later. And some dried purple berry, which we can put in our hot bar. To replace the ones we ate. Good. Okay. And also, actually, I want to check really quick. What does the corn do? Plus one to strength. Huh. Okay. So, we need to go that way still. So, there was... I saw a... Like, it looked like a passage. But... I don't remember exactly how to get there because we saw it from up above, you know? Hmm. So how do we get to this passage? Can I jump up here? Yes. Alright. Passage, passage, passage. Maybe it's that way, kind of by that tower? That makes sense, right? Peaceful Acres. There's more flint. We haven't really experimented with that at all. More string farm creatures. Nice. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I think it's got to be somewhere around here, though. The passage that I saw on the map. Or not on the map, but when we were up high. Yeah, we just... We got to get up here. Is that... What, yeah. So we, we just got to get up there somehow. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Let's just check over here really quick. See if there's anything obvious. Because there is this path. Oh yeah, this path kind of goes up there. Or is this exactly where we came from? Hmm. 
that goes this way. We need to go that way. So I think I'm going to try this path and see what happens. Oh yeah, it's winding up pretty good. What the heck is that? It's flying! How am I supposed to kill it if it's flying? Oh, I keep forgetting I have the wand I could use. What was that? Like an electric bat? At least they're not that tough. We gotta remember to bring arrows next time. This wand is kind of brutal. Now, does that mace taste, you flying jerk? Ooh. What's this? These lovers sought refuge in the flame, but it warms them no longer. Offer its spark at the flame altar in your home. Okay. Let's see. Some more lore. So we're just going to steal this one too? Alright. We did it. Is that all there is to do here? I think so. All right, let's head back home. Can we teleport here? No. No, we can't. Although, to be fair, this does look like the edge of the explorable area in that direction. All right, let's see. We got some food stuff. Food stuff, food stuff. Um, spark. Some spells. Wax is not food. I guess we'll keep the sparks in here too since we got the shroud cores. Alright, material. It's pretty much all of this stuff. And then material that doesn't fit. Arrows. <laughs> I remembered. And then let's see if we have any more berries ready. We do. Good, good. So now we need to upgrade this. Upgrade altar. Strengthen. So you can strengthen with a spark. And you can... The flame level 1 of 2. Okay, so we have to strengthen the flame. So we need some raw mushrooms, which we've cooked all of our mushrooms. <laughs> Let's go get some mushrooms. That should only take a sec. Okay, we have the mushrooms. Strengthen the flame. So what does this actually do? Alter activation capacity 2 to 4. I don't understand what that means. Shroud passage level 1 to 2. I'm assuming, you know how we got killed that one time by the strong shroud? That this is going to let us walk through that now. I don't know what this means. And we get an extra minute in the shroud. So, sounds pretty great. Sweet. So, flame level 2 means we should be able to upgrade the building area too. Find the two ancient obelisks of the Springlands to learn the world's fate. A story of rotten fire. Only those who seek the truth shall find it. All right. And this is pretty straightforward. We don't really need to do this right now, though. But we did. <laughs> oh, God. I kill myself sometimes. 
You require happy survivors to strengthen the flame. Find lost souls and provide them with sheltered beds. Okay. We did that, right? Yeah. Oh, so if we want to bring the flame up to level 3, we need 5 sparks. Okay. Now, my question, though, is, you know how, like, we keep farming... Well, I guess you don't know, because I do it off-camera. off, off camera, But we keep farming the elixir well. It resets every time I exit the game. Do these reset every time, too? Or is that a one-and-done type of deal? Hmm, very interesting. But you know what? We're going to have to find that out next time. So, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.